Jesus is praying for you. Christian daily devotion. Who then is the one who condemns? No one. Christ Jesus who died more than that, who was raised to life is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. Romans 8:34. God knows everything that's going to happen. He is omniscient. That means he knows the past, the present, and the future all at once. He already knows what's going to happen in your life this afternoon. He knows what's going to happen in your life next week, next month, next year, and the rest of your days. This also means he can pray about it before it happens to you. Wait a minute. Does God praise? Do you mean God talks to himself? You talk to yourself all the time. When God talks to himself, it's prayer. As a dad, I often talk to myself about my kids. And God talks to himself about you all the time. The night before Jesus went to the cross, he was with his disciples. Peter was boasting and saying, Lord, I would die for you. Jesus loved Peter, but he knew Peter was a little impulsive. He also knew Peter was going to deny him three times before the next morning. Jesus said in Luke 22:32, I have prayed that you will not lose your faith. Help your brothers be stronger when you come back to me. Jesus had already prayed for Peter in the storm he was about to go through. In the same way, Jesus has already prayed you through what you're going to go through this year. In fact, right now Jesus is in heaven, praying for his children. He is interceding for you. He is talking to God on your behalf. Romans 8:34 says, Who then is the one who condemns? No one. Christ Jesus, who died more than that who was raised to life is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. Jesus is praying for you to make it through your storms. I love it when people pray for me. In fact, I can feel it. And when people don't pray for me, I can tell the difference. It's one thing to have people pray for you, but how would you like to have the Son of God praying for you? The Bible says no matter what you go through today, Next week, or next year, Jesus is praying for you. He's on your side. If you've trusted him as your savior, he's interceding for you. Talk it over. Jesus prays for you. What are tributes of Jesus are evident when you think about that fact. When you consider that Jesus is praying for you, what changes in your heart? What storm are you going through right now? Ask God to help you believe that Jesus has already prayed you through it.